13.7 billion years ago, something infinitely hot and dense began expanding at tremendous speeds, spitting forth billions of stars, planets and galaxies, including our own Milky Way. For years, scientists have believed that this is how our planet was born. But NASA's James Webb Telescope says otherwise. Did we get it all wrong about our dear planet? For years, the Big Bang Theory has remained the only undisputed theory about the beginning of life within the science community. It proposes that everything, everywhere, at the same time, suddenly burst into life, and before then, there was nothing but space. It explains many phenomena we have observed, such as background radiation and elemental abundances, and there has been no factual data to prove it wrong. It was not until recently when NASA received reports from the James Webb Space Telescope that researchers started questioning this age-long theory and even go as far as saying that it was wrong. Though the Big Bang Theory is solid within the science community, it is yet to settle in with most people with naturalistic, atheistic and religious views. Hence, when the James Webb Space Telescope images appeared, most people rushed to claim it proved the Big Bang Theory wrong. Do the images from James Webb Space Telescope dispute the Big Bang Theory? And most importantly, is the Big Bang false? On the 25th of December 2021, the Ariane 5 rocket elevated the James Webb Space Telescope into space, the most expensive telescope ever to exist and specifically designed to find the very earliest galaxies in the universe. Due to its superior resolution and sensitivity, the James Webb Space Telescope can see objects that the NASA Hubble Space Telescope cannot due to their age, distance or faintness. James Webb Space Telescope observes in a lower frequency range, from the long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared, unlike Hubble, which observes in the near ultraviolet, visible and near-infrared. Previous research, including observations from the Hubble Space Telescope, have indicated that as we look at our universe from years ago, the orderly rotating disks of galaxies we see today are replaced by more disordered shapes, reflecting the intense merging that formed early galaxies. However, those previous studies also struggled to accurately identify the most distant galaxies, which appeared as indistinct blurs. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to overcome this limitation. After a month's journey into space to its operational area, the James Webb Space Telescope sits above us, dishing out images that changed what we ever knew about the Big Bang. Scientists claim that the Big Bang happened about 13.8 billion years ago. Also, they assume that it would have taken around 100 to 200 million years for the universe to cool off and form stars. There were several claims of galaxies over 400 million and 325 million years old after the universe's beginning. Some even claim the presence of an older galaxy that existed 225 million years after the Big Bang. The wildest claim is the one that claims to have observed a galaxy that formed as early as 180 million years after the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory suggests that the earliest galaxies should be small and irregularly shaped and that these small galaxies slowly merge over time, becoming larger like our Milky Way. But the infrared images of these galaxies are larger and more regularly shaped than assumed. This is where the wrong idea came from. It all started when Eric Lerner, an ardent believer that the Big Bang never happened, published an article about the subject. His article garnered an audience on social media and large followership and shares across Twitter and Facebook, which is only normal considering its controversial nature. As if to fuel his idea, the James Webb Space Telescope started showing us parts of the universe we had never seen. People with existing skepticism towards the Big Bang took advantage of these report irregularities to propel their theory. Some went to the extreme, claiming the Big Bang never happened. Some believers of creationism, naturalism and intelligent design 
also used these reports to back their claims. There are several reasons why some people may doubt the Big Bang Theory. One reason is that the theory relies on a number of assumptions and theoretical models that are difficult to directly observe or prove. Additionally, some of the predictions made by the theory, such as the existence of dark matter and dark energy, have yet to be conclusively detected. Another reason that the Big Bang Theory does not provide a complete explanation for the universe's origin and leaves many open questions about the nature of the universe that are still unanswered. There are also alternative theories, such as the steady state theory, which was proposed as an alternative to the Big Bang Theory, but has been disproven by observation and data. The cosmic microwave background is among the main arguments that support the Big Bang Theory. The CMB is widely believed as the radiation that emanated from the Big Bang when the universe first began. It was discovered in 1964, and thanks to satellites, scientists have been able to detect this residual radiation. The redshift of light from distant galaxies is another key piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. The redshift occurs because the galaxies are moving away from us, and as they do, the wavelength of the light they emit gets longer, causing it to shift toward the red end of the spectrum. This is similar to the sound of a siren on a moving ambulance, which gets lower in pitch as it moves away from you. The Big Bang Theory explains this observation by stating that the universe is expanding and that all galaxies are moving away from each other. As the universe expands, the wavelength of light from distant galaxies gets stretched, causing it to shift toward the red end of the spectrum. This is known as the cosmological redshift. So, saying the Big Bang never happened would mean we have to find another explanation for the CMB and redshift. Lerner's idea goes against these two and that alone discredits his work. Yes, the James Webb Space Telescope Data Report Survey has brought some controversies about what we know about the universe. But it is too premature to dump a well-supported theory like the Big Bang. But the observation from the report requires a response from the scientific community and a plausible explanation. The galaxies in the young cosmos seen in the James Webb photographs really appear to be more primitive than contemporary ones according to an astronomer, Alison Kirkpatrick. According to scientists, they should still have originated from the distinct clouds of gas where star formation processes were only starting, according to experts. Additionally, James Webb studies reveal star systems that are tiny and primitive but are already well organized. However, we must note that all reports are only preliminary and must be confirmed. These report papers are yet to undergo review by their science society. Further scrutiny may lead to a retraction of the report. These discoveries are tentative and sensitive, so we must wait for confirmation. What is the explanation for these anomalies in the survey report? Hopefully, something that won't make us rewrite all physics textbooks. One simple answer could be that there is the presence of dust between the far galaxy and the James Webb Space Telescope. The dust has the effect of scattering away blue light and letting the red light through. Remember that older stars translate as red lights on the telescope. The report about older galaxies might be dust effects scattering the blue light and shifting towards the red and infrared, and not because the universe is expanding. Another explanation for the report observation could be the wrong calibration of the James Webb Space Telescope. Because the telescope has only been operating for a short while, its electronics and online optics are yet to be calibrated properly. The right calibration and adjusting of the signal processor and algorithms might cause these claims to vanish. There is also the possibility that the survey report is true and that our oldest galaxies have better form and are larger than our current theory proposes. But even if these reports are true, it still has no means of disproving the Big Bang Theory. Rather, it means a modification of how matter assembled in the early universe to form galaxies.
it is a tweak and still far from debunking the Big Bang entirely. Although both parties might be wrong, that is, both scientists supporting the Big Bang and those against it, the only way to resolve this debate is time and more data, because reliable science takes time. James Webb Space Telescope currently has more precise spectrometers that will allow for more accurate readings of galaxy light wavelength. These spectrometers are the key to determining what's going on and who is right or wrong. A more accurate measurement will answer the Big Bang Theory's question and clarify the confusion, but until then, we should remember that science takes time and data, not speculation.